Hi everyone, I'm Nick, and these are the new on-ear headphones from Amazon Basics. Amazon Basics is Amazon's store brand, which sells a really wide range of products from HDMI cables and Bluetooth speakers to pet supplies at very affordable prices. I've had good luck with Amazon Basics products in the past and was excited to give the headphones a try. Their $15 on-ear headphones were pretty well received, and these over-the-ear headphones cost just $5 more. I'll put a link below if you want to check the current price or pick up a pair. But let's take a look and find out if these are any good. Amazon doesn't waste any money on flashy packaging. This is the most uninteresting product to unbox. And you won't get any accessories in the box either. You don't get a travel bag here like you do with the $15 on-ear headphones. Amazon is clearly cutting costs in every way to get the headphones down to $20. You don't even get the usual paperwork that's included. You literally just get the headphones inside of a cardboard box. The headphones, as you'd expect, are made entirely of plastic. They're lightweight and the ear cups feel hollow, but they do feel like they could take some abuse. The first thing that jumped out to me is the very chintzy audio cables on the ear cups. They don't have the most solid reinforcement, so I don't have a ton of confidence in these. They certainly feel like they could take some tugging, but if there's a weak point where I can see these failing, it's right here. I also would have liked to see a single audio cable instead of two, but that's not a big deal, and for $20, you can't complain too much. The rest of the audio cable though is more substantial and measures about 58 inches total. This is a standard audio cable with a 3.5mm audio jack. There's no mic on these headphones or inline control. The headband is a single piece of textured matte plastic. There aren't any hinges obviously, so these won't fold up, but the plastic feels really durable. There's some nice padding inside the top of the headband that has a good amount of cushion. I like that there aren't any flashy logos. You'll have a hard time finding any branding. It actually took me a while to even find the very hard to make out Amazon Basics logo that's on the inside of the headband. The ear cups are covered in gloss plastic with a circle texture in the center. The gloss actually isn't too bad for fingerprints though, which I was surprised by. There's a small R and L on the bottom of the ear cups, but other than that there aren't any markings anywhere and they just kind of look plain and generic. But again, for $20, that's okay. The ear cups will pivot side to side and up and down and they'll rotate a bit so you should be able to get a good fit over your ears. The ear cups slide up and down to adjust with a click to keep them in place. You can actually detach them for the headband as well, if you'd like to do that for some reason. The ear cushions have a nice amount of padding and are removable too. My big issue with these headphones is the ear cups are so shallow, so the driver is totally pressed against my ears. There's a lot of clamping force here as well, so I find these pretty uncomfortable for long stretches. If you've got small ears or don't mind when the drivers press against your ears, then you won't mind. But for me, they put too much pressure on my ears. The ear cups do make a good seal around your ear though, and they do isolate some outside noise, and they do a pretty good job with noise leak. Moving on to the sound quality, Amazon did a great job with these. I feel they put all their effort into making the best sounding pair of headphones, even if that meant sacrificing in other areas. Based on sound quality alone, these can compete with headphones in the $75 to $100 price range in my opinion. These aren't the most natural or accurate headphones though. These are tuned for a heavier bottom end. The bass is clean and tight with a nice kick without sounding boomy or overpowering the mids. And the bass can go very deep with no distortion. But the bass isn't excessive and it's not enough to turn off people that aren't interested in bass headphones. These strike a good balance of emphasizing the low end without going overboard. These have a nice warm sound with detailed mids. Highs are very clean and there isn't any distortion or harshness, even at loud levels. If you're someone coming from free earbuds that came with your phone, then these are a huge upgrade in sound quality. When comparing these to headphones that cost over $100 though, the highs are a little underwhelming. These are lacking that sparkle that you'll find in more accurate headphones. But these have a nice wide sound stage and good stereo separation. These work great for movies and games too. The low end adds impact to action sequences without drowning out the dialogue. Again, for $20 headphones, these sound really amazing, and I think casual listeners will be very happy with the sound quality. So who are these headphones for? First, I'd say for anyone on a budget. Not everyone wants to spend hundreds on headphones. These are perfect for a student who doesn't want to worry about these getting lost or damaged, or a backup pair to travel with. These are perfect for teenagers or older kids. I wouldn't trust the durability with small children. Overall, I'm really impressed with the sound quality. They look good enough, and besides the audio cable, they seem really well made. I just wish they were a little bit more comfortable. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think these are worth $20? Hit the like button if you liked the video, and please subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.